this is ESP characteristic curve in Y axis we have efficiency and in X axis we have flow rate and this is the ESP efficiency curve we can say at lower flow rate we have increase in efficiency as we increase the flow rate and at the higher flow rate we have decrease in efficiency as we increase the flow rate so why it is like that so for understanding we have to understand these three diagrams and this is the rotator part of the pump and this is the outer shot at this rotator part will have its own gravitational force due to its weight it and as the flow rate comes from here downward the flow will impart force on this part so that it will go up so at lower flow rate we have lower the pressure from the flow so here gravitational force will dominate and this will create the friction between this two part outer shroud and this so as we have lesser the flow rate it will have more and more friction here and it will reduce our efficiency because most of the our flow energy will be consumed in this friction part so we will have lesser the efficiency as we have lesser the flow rate at the above certain point of flow rate we have th higher the flow rate we have high higher the friction between here this outer shroud and this rotator part because we have more amount of flow force from the downward and we will have lesser the gravitational force compared to this flow so we will have more friction here and as we increase the flow rate friction will be increased so that higher the flow rate lesser the efficiency in between we have free floating impeller so we will have maximum efficiency between these two regions and we will try to operate our ESP pump in between these two parts to flow rate so that we have maximum the efficiency this part where the floor is is lower and our impeller part is going downward that is called down thrust and this is called up thrust thank you